Hey there, welcome to day 6 of learning digital art. Today we are going to learn how to create a vector character using only basic shapes and simple techniques. No sketching or drawing required, so let's dive in. The first step is to draw the face. Open Adobe Illustrator, select the circle tool and draw a circle for the face. Next, copy the shape, reduce its size and position it to create the character's ears. Okay, follow along with me, draw each step as I guide you and by the end of, you will have an amazing character. We will complete the entire face, eyes, hair, expressions and more using only circle shape. So grab your tool and let's create something awesome together. I'm copying the circle again and designing the mouth by cutting the circle in half to show a laughing expression. I'll change its color to white. Next, I'll draw a circle at the back for the hair and adjusting a little bit, make it a black. And for the lower part of the hair, I'll draw a rectangular shape. To create the front hair, I'll draw and adjust a circle like this. I'll remove the extra shapes here and draw the eyes using half circles. Next, let's draw the nose with the help of a triangle. I'll change the color and add curves. Now we will add a little details to ears like I'm doing with curves here. Then we will add details to the mouth such as tongue and teeth. You can keep it simple or add more details to make it a little bit more realistic. The first step is now complete. The second step is body proportion. In this step, we will use the same size circle as the character face and copy and paste it eight times. Then we will cut the eighth circle in half, resulting in a total length of seven and a half circles, excluding face. Next, we will draw the head, shoulder, waist and foot guidelines, starting with the head, which is already completed. I'll reduce the size of the face to add the neck. Then, I'll add circles at the bottom of the hair to enhance its appearance. Next, I'll draw the neck using a rectangular shape with a darker tone of the face color. Now, moving on to the next step. Draw the body following the guideline. Draw a rectangle starting from the shoulder line down to the waistline. I will reduce the width 
at the bottom since it's female character if it were a male character we don't do anything we leave it as it is finally we will draw the arms using the rectangular shapes and add a smooth curve to define them i am adding color to the top layer now and drawing the sleeve of the girl using the same color next i am adding shadows follow each step carefully and you will understand the process well let's add fingers to the hand like this Watch patiently as I draw every little detail to the character. I'm adding lines here to define the fingers better. After completing one side of hand, we will select it, copy it and reflect it to create the other hand. As you can see, we have successfully created the upper body. Now let's draw the waist and add curves to give it shape. Select the rectangle tool and draw the girl's pants. I will adjust it as needed and stretch it from the bottom left anchor point. Once done, copy and reflect it for the other side. Pay close attention to the guidelines to ensure perfect balance. Now let's move to the leg part. Start with the ankle. Draw it using a rectangular shape and place it in the back. Making a small adjustment as needed. Adding shadows for the realistic effect. Next, choosing a suitable color for the shoes taking brown color and drawing a rectangle to form the base of the shoes and adjust it adding curves accordingly then add a half circle for the front part of the shoes Simply start by drawing some basic shapes and making small adjustment as needed. Next, we will add details to the shoes. In this video, I will draw two types of simple shoes. Let's see which style looks better. Making this half circle a bit bigger and changing the baseline color. Now 
then selecting and transforming it for the other side now designing a different style for the other shoe by removing some elements adding lines to the front and placing a star on the back side of the shoes I'm adjusting the base and changing the color to black. Okay, which one looks better? Personally, I like the second one, so I'll keep it and delete the other. Our freehand character is done, created without any sketch or drawing. Now we will remove the guidelines we added earlier and move to the fourth and final step, refinement. In this step, we will improve the character by adding more details and making it look complete. Now adding the dotted pattern on the character's t-shirt. In one of my previous video, I showed you how to add a dotted pattern to a character's clothes. If you are a beginner and want to learn how to add patterns to clothes, please check out the video on my channel. Adding a shadow to the neck. and changing the hair color to brown. I'll also make the cheek plus circle a little smaller and add more details to the girl's hand to refine the character. Our super cool character's final look is here, created without any sketch or drawing. By keeping this simple step in mind, you can easily create any type of vector character. In my upcoming videos, I'll teach you how to create different types of character without any sketch. So how did you find this video helpful? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video, share with your artist friends and subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon to stay updated on my upcoming videos.